And so we have the sermon from the Church of All Life. As I sit here, I feel the presence of God and he is moving forward and wanting to speak. I am grateful to Gail and all the work that she does. And I say to all of the Holy Spirit and my son, look after Gail, be respectful to Gail and be with her closely as she does the work that I ask of her. And all of them nod their head and say to me, we are eager to help you and Gail, for we want the success of all the work that is to be carried out equally as you do. I remember when Jesus was on the earth, and I said to, to Allah, I said to Jesus, I wish for you to speak to people in the world and explain about my kingdom. Tell them who I am and what will happen when they return to my world. He, of course, agreed and spoke to many people, but I knew that I had to protect him in some way. And so I gave him the skill of healing. I gave him the skill of knowledge about our words and my kingdom. And with all of this knowledge and this ability, he went about and healed many people. This is something that was my decision, my decision to give to your world. I chose at this time to give healing to the world, but I knew it was essential. It was essential because I had to prove to the world that Jesus was truly the Son of God, truly coming to your world to give the words that I had given to him. But now we are in a different world. We are in a different place. Man has matured greatly and I am grateful to all the successes of what man has achieved. When I look around your earth, I see some of the great things that man has done, some of the kind acts that man has done, some of the in inventions, and also some of the difficulties that man has struggled with, but eventually succeeded in. This makes me proud and this makes me feel a sense of great love for man. For man throughout time has struggled with their difficulties, but conquered so much. Today, it is necessary that man becomes greater than they ever have done before. That man takes a step forward and becomes better than they ever have done before. And I believe, like I did with Jesus, that it is time to ask another one of the Holy Spirit to step forward and bring my words again. And this, of course, I have chosen Gail to do this work. The words that she will be speaking will be words of truth and words that come directly from myself, my son or the Holy Spirit. 
And these words will be important because they are words that need to be delivered to your world so that education can take place, that knowledge of my kingdom is greater than ever before, that an understanding of what I require of man is given. Without this, man will not take the step forward in life. They will not grow any further than they possibly could have. And so I come not only with my son, but I come with an army of Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit are the people I have chosen to reside closely by me in my kingdom. And these people are very, very dear to my heart, for they are always willing to help wherever possible. And I say to them, surround yourself around Gail, so that we, as a group, step forward and bring my words to your world. These words will be different, but also the same as what was spoken by Jesus. Jesus, in your words today, gave two miracles, and these miracles were necessary. I needed people to believe that Jesus was who he was. He had to be able to tell the people of the world that he was somebody that I had sent. And now this is to be repeated. I again will be giving miracles to your world. There are already people who have been chosen, not only by myself, but also by my Son and the Holy Spirit. We have carefully looked at these individuals and made a decision that they must be cured from their difficulties in life. And there will come a time when Gail comes across their path and they will be cured. It is my wish that when this happens, people will stand aghast and they will say to themselves, surely this must be true. Surely God has given us his grace. And of course, I say to you, this is exactly what I am doing. I am giving you grace, grace that will help all of mankind to live in a different way, to help mankind wash away the negativity, wash away the destruction, wash away wars, wash away any hatred, jealousy, but simply immerse themselves in love. Help each other, look to each other and say to each other, I love you and I am there for you and I will help you. That is what I want for man. Not the men that look at the problems and then turn to the side and say, I have no time for that problem and I walk away. That is not what I want. I need people to step forward and be courageous in themselves, courageous in a way that helps more than one person. Because you are opening your heart. If you open your heart, then it is compelling to treat people with love. 
There is no other way. I have vowed that for those people that treat others with love, I will surround myself with them and give my love and gratitude to them. Anyone who does a good deed for another is somebody that is in the light, somebody that I care for and love. And of course, like life, we all have to step over this life and come to my world. When someone comes to my world who has treated people with respect and love and kindness, I look at them and I say, thank you. Thank you for being a wonderful, wonderful person. Thank you for always choosing to do the right thing. Thank you for being a true example to others. This is what I say to people. This is how I feel. I believe with all of this new work that there will come a time when man agrees that there is an important way to be. Open your hearts, love one another and believe in my world and my kingdom and honour your friends, your relatives your children, your neighbours, because they are the people that will eventually be grateful and show you love for what you have done, as I will when you return to my world. Love is something that is to be cherished. Love is a great thing. Love improves your soul like nothing else. Everything is about love. I thank you for listening to my words and I thank you for being supportive to Gail for I am very grateful to Gail for all that she does. And I say to you, I love you with all my heart. So, thank you very much. Oh, that was a lot of energy and power. <laughs> thank you.